Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Code Awesome. Today, we're going to walk you through setting up Apache Kafka on a Windows machine. We'll also see how to run a Kafka server, create a topic, and listen for messages in that topic. Before we begin, make sure you have Java JDK installed and the Java home environment variable set. Also, ensure you have the Kafka zip file downloaded. Once you've downloaded the Kafka zip file, extract it to a folder on your C drive. Open the folder, and you'll see a bin folder and a config folder inside. Now let's set up the environment variables. Go to System Properties and open Environment Variables. Add a new variable called Kafka Home and point it to the Kafka folder you extracted. Next, update the path variable. This makes it easier to run Kafka commands from anywhere. Once that's done, navigate to the Kafka folder. Before starting the server, let's take a look at some important configuration files, zookeeper.properties and server.properties. The zookeeper.properties file is used to configure Zookeeper, which Kafka depends on to store metadata and coordinate cluster nodes. In the zookeeper.properties file, you can change settings like the data directory and client port. By default, Zookeeper runs on port 2181. If you need to change the port, simply modify the client port property. Next, let's move to the server.properties file. This file contains the configuration for the Kafka broker itself. Here, you can adjust the Kafka server port and temporary directories. To change the Kafka server port, look for the line listeners equals plain text slash 9092. By default, Kafka runs on port 9092. To change it, update the port number like so. Another important setting is the log.durs property, which defines the directory where Kafka stores its data. If you want to specify a custom directory, change the log.durs property to a directory of your choice. Now that we've covered the configuration, let's move on. The first step is to start Zookeeper. Run the command to start Zookeeper and wait for it to load completely. Once it's running, open the second terminal. In this terminal, we'll start the Kafka server. Run the command and you'll see logs indicating the Kafka server is running on the port you specified, by default on port 9092. Next, we'll create a topic. In the terminal, type the command to create a new topic called test topic. You can verify the topic is created by listing all the topics in Kafka. Finally, we'll produce and consume messages. In one terminal, start the producer. Type a message and press enter to send it. In the second terminal, start the consumer. You'll see the messages from the producer appearing in the consumer terminal. And that's it. You've successfully set up Kafka, created a topic, and sent messages. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with others. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.